Hi, dear YouTubers. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up USB Tethering on Windows 11. So let's begin. This article describes how to connect your Windows 11 device to your iPhone or under with internet connection using the USB Tethering feature. You will find detailed steps for enabling Tethering on mobile device and several tips for what to do when the internet connection is not working correctly. How to enable USB Tethering on Windows 11. Here is what you need to do to enable USB tethering on your smartphone to access its internet connection on your Windows 11 laptop, computer, tablet, or two-in-one device such as Microsoft Surface. Turn off Wi-Fi on your computer so it won't connect to any other networks. The fastest way to do this is to select the, is to select the Wi-Fi icon from the taskbar. Another way is through settings, network, and internet. Plug your smartphone into your Windows 11 device via a compatible USB cable. Turn on your, wife, your iPhone's hotspot if your PC will be using its, its internet connection. Go to settings, cellular, personal hotspot or settings, personal hotspot, then toggle on allow other to join. The steps to enable an Android hotspot are a little different. Go to settings. Network and Internet, Hotspot and Tethering, toggle on USB Tethering. For Android, the exact phrasing of the menu items differ between devices and operating system, but it should still be easy to find. Search through settings for Hotspots if you are having trouble. The Ethernet icon should appear in the taskbar near the clock once the connection is made. You can also check the USB Tethering is working properly by opening settings network and internet. Windows 11 does not have an icon or switch for Ethernet and wired internet connections in the action center like it does for Wi-Fi. USB testing requirements. Sharing your phone's internet via USB testing is a feature supported by Windows, iOS and Android devices for a long while now, so it's likely that your devices support it. Here is what you need to make it work. An active internet connection on your smartphone. Your regular 4G or 5G or mobile service should be fine. A compatible USB cable. The USB charging cable supplied with your smartphone should work. A USB port on your PC. You may need to unplug a mouse or keyboard to free up a USB port if you don't have any spa spare ones. Windows 11 USB tethering tips and fixes. If you are having trouble getting USB tethering to work properly in Windows 11, there are several things you, you can try. Connect your iPhone to your Windows 11 computer. Download iTunes for, to your computer and open it while your iPhone is connected. Follow the instructions on screen to connect your devices. You will need to do this even if you have previously made the connection in, all, in an older version of Windows. Open iTunes. Something opening the iTunes app on your Windows 11 device can trigger the connection to an iPhone if it is not being detected. Edit under with USB pre preferences. Go to settings, connected devices, USB, and make sure USB tethering is chosen. This won't, this won't work if a different option is selected. Update the operating system on both devices. Updating Windows 11, Android, and iOS can fix a host of problems and bugs. Update your drivers and in Windows 11. Manually update Windows driver has been known to fix USB tethering issues. Use the Wi-Fi hotspot option. If you can't get the USB tethering to work in Windows 11, try using the smartphone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Frequently asked question. How do I use USB tethering on Windows 10? To set up and use USB tethering in Windows 10, connect your iPhone and or Android phone to your Windows 10 device with a USB cable. On an iPhone, turn on your personal hotspot and on an, on an Android, turn on USB tethering. Go to your Windows 11 device's network and enter testing to verify the connection. How do I increase my USB tethering internet speed? To increase your USB tethering internet speed, try keeping your, your phone as still as possible to create a more stable con internet connection. Also use a metered connection with a data limit. Make sure you are using the latest USB generation and use a manufacturer recommended USB cable. So that's the end of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. I hope you are doing well guys. See you soon at the following tutorials. Bye.